classmate who attempted suicide on school grounds today. We understand the 15-year-old boy has life-threatening injuries. Police say he shot himself just before 8 this morning outside the school's auditorium. They rushed him to a hospital and roped off the area where it happened. Jefferson went under a short lockdown, but no one else was injured. KCRG TV 9 Dave Fransman joins us tonight from Jefferson High School. And Dave, what have the students told you about this? Bruce, I talked to a couple of students who reported hearing a cup of what sounds like a popping sound, really, as they were going inside one of the buildings here. Obviously, didn't know what it was at first. Now, police don't believe that anyone actually witnessed the shooting, and it was the sound that prompted those here to investigate and then discover that wounded student. Immediately after the reports of a self-inflicted shooting, Jefferson began a lockdown procedure. That meant students couldn't leave the building. The one student who was off camp, one student who said she knew the teenager who tried to take his own life, couldn't recall any signs of distress. He's just an acquaintance, so it's just like hi and bye, but like it's always a happy instant, like when I'm talking to him, I guess. Now, a police spokesperson tells us that the student involved was transferred to the University of Iowa Hospitals. We have no condition report. Again, life-threatening injuries. Now, purple is a color that is connected with suicide awareness, and some of the students here say they expect people to be wearing purple at tonight's games, uh, both at Kingston and some other locations, in order to remember the student who tried to take his own life here this morning. Live in Cedar Rapids, Dave Fransman, KCRG, TV9 News. There are several signs to watch for if you think someone might be considering suicide. They include substance abuse, a feeling of hopelessness or a lack of purpose, anxiety or anger. With campus when it happened, also discovered that meant you couldn't come back inside either. I called my mom because they wouldn't let us in and they told us to go home. And then they sent an email or a call out later saying that we could come back. The lockdown here ended after about two hours and parents and students got a choice. They could stay in class with counselors available or go home immediately. Some parents wanted their students at home. And my older son, he's pretty upset and nervous too. He wants to come on out, so I'm gonna pull both of them out today. Investigators quickly determined there was no one else involved aside from the student who tried to take his own life. And he was not near other students at any time. There's no indication that uh, the individual had gone into the school earlier. We believe that uh, the individual went to this location outside the auditorium and uh, at that point discharged the weapon. Students told TV9 about half left early and the other half stayed till the end of the regular school day. ...and sudden mood changes. Today on TV9 News at 5, we talked to a counselor from Foundation 2, which is a crisis response organization in Cedar Rapids. He said Jefferson parents and probably many others should have conversations with their kids tonight about what happened at the school this morning. Suicide should be treated just like anything else, uh, drugs or any number of things that a parent would want to talk with their child about. Um, acknowledge the situation, acknowledge what happened today. Um, students are going to talk one way or another, so it's important that parents engage them. If you or someone you know is feeling suicidal, there is help available. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is available 24 hours a day, every day. The number is 800-273-TALK. People here in eastern Iowa do answer those calls. A Cascade baby left alone in a bathtub earlier this week has died. The Dubuque County Sheriff's Office responded to a home in Cascade about four Monday afternoon.